And so we're here once again to smear some colored liquid on a um, the uh, a parallelogram. We smeared it on a parallelogram. It's a trapezoid if I've ever seen one. Today we're going to do uh, some crazy characters, some good friends, Lenny and Larry, marine biologist and athlete. So using the same array of colors. I did get new brushes. I did get a variety of new brushes yesterday. I uh, put on my plague mask and I went and ventured into society. So stay safe, everybody. So we're going to use some black on a new brush. These are, it's a, it's a value pack. So there's a bunch in there and I'm hoping these will be better for doing fine lines. We will find out. Small canvas, but it's okay. I have small goals. <laughs> oh Lord. Man, you're going to see why this is complicated. Again, having to hold this thing in the way. Okay. All right. Well, just go for it, right? Just, just, just go. Just make a line. Oh, I hate it already. Wow, that is too fine, actually. <laughs> they say the same thing about me. <laughs> no, they don't. Nobody says that. It's okay though. Man, I don't like that already. Let's change brushes. All right, we're gonna try again with this Magnum Force 38. That's what this brush is. Magnum Force 48, or did I say 38? I can't really remember. And it was just a second ago. That's what happens when you're a boomer like myself. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it feels right. That's much better. I mean, kind of. Compared to the other one, it's better. That one is certainly fine. Ah, well, fudged up. It's alright. It's because this is a terrible easel. So it's um, a bit wobbly. Eh, don't fall. Only the best for true artists, which you won't find that here. All right. Here we go. He's just got like a growth here. That's an ear. We'll say it's an ear. Use your creative imagination because that's what this is. It's about creativity and fun and expressing your horrible, horrible art skills. Like so. My nose always runny. Y'all just make me sick, that's why. Has everybody had a good weekend? Mine's been rather tedious. I haven't wanted to go out because the world's gone crazy, so just kind of stayed in. Chilled. Safer. No, I have friends or anywhere to be. You, you know, I'm not really missing much out there. It's just kind of whatever. Uh, how do I want you to go? All right. Wish I could draw. How do you? How do you just learn to draw? How? How do you become good at it? I don't understand. I have genuinely tried over my many, many long decades in this world, and I can't understand the mechanics of it. You just have to be born that way, consult a wizard, sell your soul to Cthulhu. I really just don't understand. All right. We're getting somewhere now. I mean, I'm not really sure where it is we are getting, but we're getting there. Same angles as I always do because I am very limited on what I can put on paper, canvas, parallelograms, trapezoids. Now, if it was a rhombus, it could do all sorts of things. But unfortunately, we don't have a rhombus today. Next time, guys, next time. Geometry. I was not good at geometry. Alright! Here we go. 
making some more lines. That looks awful. There was too much paint. It's all right. Here we go. Shaking and moving. She's got very thick arms, I guess. Somebody help me. Good gracious. That looks bloody awful. Collar. Ah, I just wish I could draw right, paint right. What is this we're doing? Calligraphy. Darn calligraphy. Guess we should give them a face. That would be helpful. Should we switch from Magnum Force 48 to a different brush? I kind of think so. I guess we can go back to this little one. No, he was too stiff. <laughs> That was stupid. I haven't even looked at these brushes, so I'm just now going through them. I have no idea. I should have done this to begin with. I apologize. Uh, let's just grab... Uh... Here, you look alright. This is the uh, Miniature Cosmos 0.7 in blue sunrise. So we're going to do a bit more black because I don't know if you know, that's sort of the, the, the color scheme, kind of what we go for. I like it to match my insides. Black. Put that right there. I don't even know why I buy other colors. Because <laughs> we're going to do the background and stuff. Oh, we should probably fill them in before we do that. I'm over here jumping the gun. Here, uh, we'll use, we'll use, what do you look like? Yeah, let's try this one. I think they will be this, um, this gray color, that gray, they have better names than that. Derek, use Derek Gray. Dab it all on there, like so. Oh, this brush? What is this brush you're asking me? <laughs> Let me tell you. This is the one and a half uh, meters in diameter um, Kelvin 4000 in meters. Europe. A little gray on there. It's pretty much the same color as the background. That's all right, though. Well, this Kelvin, whatever number I said, is not really cutting it. Just kind of smearing it. Maybe we do it flat. Well, that's much better. A true artist would know to do that. I am a true artist. I don't know if you can hear my dog barking. Here's a truck going down the street. Military rounding up the sick. No big deal. Ah! Why do I always do this? You see, I smeared the black. Cover you up. No big deal. Should probably have waited till they were dry. I can't wait. Instant gratification. Plus, the clock is ticking on this camera. I am using my good camera uh, right now. I decided I should probably start getting use out of it. It wasn't exactly cheap. Um, so I'm using my nice camera. I mean, it's not like some fancy photographer camera, but you know, it's a lot to me. It is a... God, what is this camera? It's a Canon... It's the G7X Mark II, I believe. What do these things stand for? Um, it seemed, after much research, it seemed one of the uh, one of the good ones for an affordable price. For oh, uh, you know, maybe not necessarily. We have vlogging um, and just short little films like what we're doing right now. What are we doing right now? Painting. 
So that's what we went with. Um, and I haven't really used it because I'm not, I've said it many times, I am not technically uh, educated, not technically savvy, not my forte, but I should give it a go. Seems pretty easy thus far. I just, my thing is editing. I don't have editing software, so I'm very primitive. I am basically a caveman in the vlogging world. No shame. I like things nice and simple. But I would like to get some equipment, get some software, and then uh, learn. I don't like doing things though. I'd rather it's just eat soft cheeses and lay in a hammock and somebody else can do that for me. Somebody smart. I am not smart. There we go. Alright, now that needs to dry before we do their face. Because there's there's some globs on there. Oh dang it, Bobby. Alright, well, it's fine. Is it though? Is it fine? Let's use some of this vintage car green that we have here and fill in their shirt because the shirt is very special. Here, let's use this, this one. Now this one, this is a good brush. This is the Goldilocks in space point three brush. We're gonna use, what did I just say this green was? Vintage car green. I think it's actually hunter's green, but who cares? Who cares? Not me. Oh, this brush actually works really nice. Goldilocks in space. Point whatever I just said. Three, was it point three? Three, one, four, pie. Pie day was yesterday, wasn't it? Math. Can't do math. If I could do math, I would be an astrophysicist right now. I would be Goldilocks in space. But here we are instead. I'm a struggling artist. <laughs> oh gosh. It's all right. Your dreams don't come true. Find new dreams. Make another dream happen. Don't just throw in the towel. If you can't do something, well, at least you could say you tried. And that's, uh, that's what's important. Because that way you don't really have a regret. Because you, you did try. You, I did try to do math. Couldn't do it. So here we are. I'm a world famous artist instead. <laughs> God, it's so strokey. Strokey McGillicuddy. Why does everything have to have a stupid ass name? Because I have no friends, so I make friends with these inanimate objects. I do have a friend who's a spider. He's kind of like a roommate, Cornelius. He lives at the back door. Have I told y'all about Cornelius before? Maybe. I can't remember. Yeah, he is a big, or she, I think it's a she. How do you tell? Spider who lives at my uh, patio door. And, uh, you know, he comes out at night, and I, I chill and I talk to him for a bit when I'm letting the dogs out and waiting for them to come in. And, uh, we get, in, we, we get on quite well, I think. Not really. He doesn't like me. He gets mad at me. You know, the spider before him and the spider before that one was, uh, Julius and Roman. Now, they, 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 they were okay with me. I got on quite well with them. But this guy, he's just, every time I come out, he just, you know, we have, a, we have an agreement, is that after dark, I will not go outside. I might open the door, but I will not go out because he's got a big web that's uh, angled, 90 degree, acute angle. Uh, and he's a big, he's like the ones you see in summer with real fat bodies. I don't mind, I and mean, I don't like spiders, but we have an agreement. I won't go out at night and disturb him in his web he won't come in. And that was the agreement I had with his, uh, his friends, but they, they have long since gone away. But you know what? It's all right because 
He's never tried to come in. Sponge McDaniel. Four. I just thought it would be easier using a sponge. What color are we using? Cat in the bath mauve. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, just like that. That's it. Work it now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was much better. Look at that, guys. See? We're getting better. Practice makes perfect. I mean, not with the painting. Not with my actual execution. I can't paint still. But I'm getting smarter on how to do this. Kind of. I'm getting better with my brushes. Because I was using just you know, these tiny ones. It took 87 hours. Now I'm using a big one that takes 87 hours. Learning. No, I spoke too soon. My eldest sister can, can draw. I don't know about painting. I don't think I've ever seen her paint, but she, she was the only one of us who um, was halfway decent at uh, drawing and such. I think, I think she has the best handwriting as well. Me and the Canadian, we just, we're just kind of here. I mean, I'm not saying it's frist-worthy, but, I mean, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, she, um, she has good handwriting. She has, she's good at art. And then, what are, what am I good at? Didn't I do a video on this already? And it was nothing. I was good at being a failure, I think. What is the Canadian good at? Telling the future in her dreams of premonitions. That is a true story. Yeah, I'm not being stupid there, which is very rare for me. Oh, dang it. Um, you know, I don't really know. I feel like none of us were really blessed with talent, hence why we're where we are today. But that's okay. Make your own talent. Make your own way. Make yourself good at whatever. Even if it's good at doing nothing. Somebody called me a therapist. Hello. Like my daddy said, it's just your style, that's why this sucks. It's just your style. Just unique. Just like my sisters and I, we're all kind of unique in our own way. Like I said, my elder sister is uh, the best with with things like this. Um, she, she likes cosplay. Uh, she's very crafty. She's very thrifty, very crafty. She can, you know, take minimal things and you know, make costumes and make these designs and and things that I you know I could never would never think to do. And uh, my um, that's my eldest sister and the Canadian. You know, she's so my eldest is very crafty, sat, uh, savvy, and smart. The Canadian, the next old one, old one, <laughs> great old ones. That came from the sky. She's very business, common sense, smart, and talented. She, uh, she got the street smarts. Now, she does not have street crud. Crud. Cred. If you're listening, you still have no street cred. Sorry. But, um, she's very business, common sense, smart, which probably the best attribute to have. I got the uh, the smarts and uh, savviness with science. I, I applied myself more than the others. Um, educationally speaking, you know, book smarts in my sad homeschool days. So that's where I excelled. 
but really it's very sad because it does you no good no matter how good or smart you are all these things you know about space or particle physics what good is it doing you if you're not in that field of work how does it benefit you it doesn't so what i'm trying to tell you is i got black in the mauve and now it's messed up oh. this is terrible why does this keep happening it's like your food mixing together on a plate why i don't actually care about that i've actually known people who get bothered by it. it's going to the same place what does it matter it's all going to end up in your mouth and an amalgamation of flavors what are we talking about i'm not really sure The whole thing looks like crap. It doesn't matter. And there we go. Ruining it some more. Fudge. Ah! It's okay. It's okay, everybody. I try to fix it, and I just screw it up more. Well, I give up. Moving to France. Okay, we next are gonna take this uh, black on whatever brush I called this. And we're going to, I think if I put this down, excuse me, sorry. And here we go. Oh, I'm running out of paint. It's screwing up. I guess I do need this after all. Get a shirt, their shirt, some, um, you know, design. Yes. Yes, queen. And now a face. Because we are just about done. Which brush were we using for the face? Use this small one. Oh, the colors are all mixed up. Who? Still a little wet, but it's fine. This really came together, I think. Yeah, look at that. Got faces. Creepy, creepy faces. Yeah, look guys, we did an art. We smeared some colored liquid on a parallelogram and made a thing. Uh, you know, a weird thing, but... Yes! Alright, the finished product paint on me. So my camera decided to go fuzzy and die. Sorry about that. But here we have the finished project. Lenny and Larry, marine biologist and athlete. Pretty great, right? You know, I've heard that they aren't actually conjoined twins. They both just really like that shirt. What a world.